Hey guys, welcome back to iCraft MC! In today's episode, we're going to be building the interior of our new laboratory. But before we do that, we're going to make today's banner of the day. Today's banner starts with a lime poly. The next pattern is a lime field mason, which is this pattern right here, a bunch of bricks. After that, we're going to go on to a, a magenta chief indented. And then we're going to go on to a light blue border indented, which is this pattern right here. Then we're going to go on to a light blue border. And we're going to end off, last but not least, with a light yellow base to basically show the sand of this cactus banner. Yeah, that's what it is. I thought it was a really cool cactus banner with a flower on top of it. So we'll just place that there. And one other thing we're going to do before we... Uh, before we continue to build our laboratory is we're actually going to um, upgrade our, a shovel because basically it turns out I actually do have a shovel with silk touch on it. I just, uh, that's all it has on it. So right up here I actually have together a bunch of really useful items. So I have here a uh, mending book, a silk touch shovel, as well as this almost all the way leveled up pickaxe. And basically what we're just going to do is we're just going to put on this book and this book. And if you see when we go like that, uh, this adds the mending. That's actually the wrong thing. We want to go like this, but you see it doesn't combine. If we just switch it around, it'll actually replace the Fortune 2, which is what we do not want, with the Silk Touch, which will basically give us almost a perfect pickaxe. Then all we have to do, or uh, not a pickaxe, but a shovel. Then all we have to do is just add this mending book and rename the shovel. And I want to name it to Silk Shovel. I think that's a good name just because I don't remember that it's a Silk Touch shovel and not a Fortune shovel. There we go. That's actually almost a perfect shovel. The only thing it doesn't have on it is efficiency 5, but we can always do that later. And if I remember correctly, we also actually have a netherite, extra netherite, but I think for now uh, this is good. It's just a diamond shovel is fine. So anyway, in the last episode we built uh, this really cool laboratory. In this episode, we're going to be building the inside of the laboratory, uh, where we can do all the experiments. And if you want to know why we're building this laboratory, you're going to have to watch uh, two episodes back, uh, where we found this really interesting um, substance that was just kind of in a witch hut. So yeah, we'll have to uh, find out what we can do with that. But anyway, yeah, so the first thing we're going to build is a giant vat, and I think the vat's going to go in the corner here. So we're basically just going to start it right about uh, right about here, and then uh, let's see if to make it coincide up with that, but we'll line up right about there, so over like this, and then we're basically just going to, uh, yeah, go like this. Now this is going to block off our scaffolding going up, but we can actually just make another entrance going up later, so that should be fine. This is basically just going to be a big vat to deal with all the liquids we'll be using, and then what we're going to do is basically make this go up a couple blocks like this, and uh, yeah, then we can basically just use it to store uh, all the liquids, and we'll also get a good bottom on this just so that it can actually hold everything it needs to hold, all like this. And then on the very top here, we'll probably put, uh, we just fell in, but on the very top here, we'll probably just put uh, a layer of gray concrete there to make sure it's really reinforced. In fact, I think we'll actually make the whole vat only be three blocks tall, and then the, uh, the gray concrete can go a little bit lower. Yeah, so we can just go like that, and then basically just put the uh, normal gray concrete here, and I think that looks awesome, and that'll basically just be... Uh, be the vat like that. And I think another thing that's important in a vat is to have little windows so you can kind of see what's inside of it. I mean, we'll know what's inside of it because of what we put, but yeah, we can just kind of uh, have a good visual there like that. I think that'll work really cool. And we can just put that on this edge too, like that. Which is perfect. And we can just kind of go around here like this and put the one in here too. Now, I think for now we're just going to fill up the vat with water. So I'll just place a water bucket here just to get out. Or actually, I guess the water bucket will have to go a little bit higher like that. But yeah, there we go. There's that. And if I remember correctly, we also have another water bucket in here. Yep, yeah, perfect. So we can just make an infinite water source there and fill that all the way up. And uh, yeah, so if we just grab the first water source here, I think that glitched a bit, actually. Let's see if we can just uh, grab our water source. That's funny. It kind of glitched. I think the another water source might appear. Oh, that's... Oh, no, I know where it, did. it didn't glitch. It went on under the slab there. That's funny. In fact, now that i uh, remembering that, I actually have to put uh, some... Quickly put some uh, of this uh, gray concrete under there just so that we have the um, the bottom of this actually be the vat and not just the floor like that. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. And then we'll just go like this. We now have an infinite water source in the corner here. So you can basically just use that to completely fill up the uh, the tank with water here. And then yeah, we can totally just have a, um, a good place to conduct our experiments of liquids. And we'll just keep filling this up a little bit more all around like this. And it's almost done. Looks like we just have to grab a little bit more underneath here. And almost done. There we go. Perfect. It's done. So we'll just uh, 
All right, we'll go around like this and get rid of this extra glass here, and that should be the uh, the vat completely done. All right, perfect. Another thing we're going to want to do is just a way to kind of uh, look at what's at the vat from the top. So we're just going to kind of uh, place down some scaffolding in the corner here, like this. Actually, maybe not in that corner. We'll probably place it uh, maybe on the side here. It would probably work a lot better. And uh, yeah, something like this maybe. We can kind of make it go up maybe three, four, like this. And then we can just kind of make it over the top so we can see. Actually, no, I guess it will have to go in this corner here because then we can... Uh, we can see, but that's totally fine. So we'll go up like this, then three, and then just a little bit over so we can kind of be able to look over the liquid. All right, like, oh, I broke that. Yeah, scaffolding is so annoying to build with, but uh, it's definitely worth it because it is a really cool looking block. All right, then we can kind of see how the mixture is going. So there's that, we can just grab that real quick. Yeah, so there's that. And then um, next thing we're gonna wanna do is build a, uh, a little thing where we're studying different plants. So I already have some materials for this. You can see here we have a whole bunch of nether materials here and that'll be where we kind of put the place where we're observing some interesting plants. So we're going to probably put that well maybe on this right corner right here so we can just kind of set that up. We're going to set up these as sort of like plant pot areas like this and these will just be the areas where we're studying the, uh, the foreign plants which will of course be plants from nether since I'm building with these nether materials. We'll probably just put another one right in this corner here like this which should go perfect and I love these new uh, ne new nether trapdoors. I think they look super awesome and really uh, kind of look good with something like a laboratory. So then we'll just go uh, the opposite of the corresponding colors so it kind of uh, varies like that. I think it would look awesome so we can go like that and that. That looks good and then we can go like this and this and we can do studies on those. Uh, and then the other thing we can do is we can uh, take a look in here. Another thing we can do is we have a whole bunch of brewing stands here. And the brewing stands we can basically use to have a big old uh, area for glassware and apothecary, stuff like that. We also have a bunch of glass on us. And if we have a crafting table, which we have some wood, so we can just uh, make one like that super quick. Then we can make a uh, whole bunch of glass bottles and we can use those... We can fill those up in the water tank, actually. For now, this is just a water tank. And then we can, uh, yeah, use those in the, uh, the apothecary. And we also have here, probably should have, shouldn't have made so many of those, but that's fine. We also have here uh, some uh, slabs here. And this, this can be the, uh, the counter for this part of the lab. So we can just kind of build this maybe starting around here. And then we can make it be about two wide and make just a whole bunch of... Uh, big old table here and this will be kind of where we store all the laboratory equipment so we'll just build all this out like this and we can place a whole bunch of brewing stands on the table like this uh, maybe not all in a row like that actually no that is fine I think all in a row is fine and we can just throw some uh, some water bottles in here we'll just kind of put a random amount per one maybe that one will have one that one will have none that one can have three and then that one can have one uh, one and that one can have two like that actually we can go like that would look cool. Yeah, so we have a whole bunch of stuff on the go there. Then we can also take a look at this cauldron. And what we can do with this, actually, is first of all, if we just grab a bucket of water real quick, what we can do here is we can have a second uh, area of table right over here. And with this here, we can basically uh, just go like this and kind of, I guess we'll just have to go like this, make it go over a whole little bit like that. And we can basically uh, go like that, break this, and looks like it's actually becoming night now that I break that torch and see. It's funny how the torch might look like it wasn't night, but uh, there we go. We can just go to bed real quick in a second here. But yeah, there's the, uh, the other lab table, and we can deal with this cauldron in the morning. So let's go to bed here real quick. But I think already this laboratory is really shaping up to look super cool. So we'll basically just have this, uh, this cauldron right here with some water in it. And we're also going to have a few other things here. Uh, like, for instance, these blast furnaces. I want to have some drains in the floor just so that um, yeah, if anything leaks ever, we can basically just uh, make sure it doesn't flood anything. So we can just grab some of these, put them around here, put them like that. And then the way you do a drain is just grab a blast furnace and put it like that. And you can basically see it looks like a drain. And it is a drain. So like that. And we can just put one uh, maybe around uh, here too. So we'll go like that. Basically, same thing. Go around with these slabs. And I guess we'll just have to do on this side too. Actually, no, that's what will be the drain is. So, yeah, there we go. There's some cool drains. I think I like those a lot. And then another thing we can make is a, uh, a cool invention. So what we can do is we can grab some of these space salt and some of this concrete and make ourselves that uh, with some of these different dials and things here. 
All right, so I think the invention can probably go on this wall right here. So we'll just, I'm thinking we can make this be somewhat like uh, this shape. Actually, we'll, we'll not use this color because that coincides with the wall far too much. Probably use this basalt so we can kind of make something like this. All right, I think that's looking pretty good already. And then we can basically just grab some iron bars maybe and uh, some other things here. I think we have some more basalt. Yeah, we have a whole more, another stack of basalt should be perfect. So there we go. And then we can basically just put a whole bunch of item frames all on like this. And some of these will be kind of pressure gauges, stuff like that. Some of these can uh, be other gauges. Yeah, this will just be part of the invention. And we can make sure to include some uh, redstone lamps because I think that'll be really important for this particular invention. And we can get some levers going on here like this. Perfect, like that. And we can probably get some lights on the corners here too, since um, I think those levers will be good for the redstone lamps, like this. And like this, I think that's looking awesome. And we can probably just put a uh, this arrow here, and we, this we can actually set this, so we can use this for, uh, for different settings, which is awesome, like that. And we can just throw that on here, put that like that. And I believe we actually have some end rods. Yeah, these are perfect. We can use with these, we can actually use these for uh, antenna like this all right i think that's awesome and we can also use some of these iron bars just for uh important and this this wire is actually going to go up here like this uh and into here because that's going to go right up to the uh satellite dish that's up there so that'll just uh go up there like that and you can kind of see that's going to go all the way up so there's that and that'll connect to the satellite dish i think we'll also get a couple more dials on here just so we can see all the correct uh things that are settings and happenings that are going on. So we'll just throw some of these up like that and throw some of these up like that on the other side too. Of course, making sure that we have everything accurately placed. Now I think we can also, we got the water in the cauldron. Yep, perfect. So we can also um, get ourselves some things over here. Uh, we have a double, some chests in here, I believe. Yeah, we can get all the, uh, the brewing supplies in those chests. Uh, for our apothecary so we can just throw up this um, over here just throw these chests in the corner here and we can just throw some of these powders and dusts in here and we can throw in uh actually we'll throw in the blaze powder here so that should be good uh, some other things i think we'll be working on too is with this quartz we can make a little uh a plimp for a podium and we can basically use that to be showing off something we're studying which is with redstone torches and soul torches like that, so we can kind of show off we're show they're studying all the torches in the game. And speaking of that, we, we should actually add this redstone torch to the top of this machine just to give it more power. Like that, we maybe will just adjust that a little bit for now. That should be fine. And uh, yeah, and then we can basically just let's see, grab some of these. I think some of this warp stuff could be used for some useful things. So, for instance, we can use this as kind of like a table going along like this, and we can use these other warp slabs for something similar over here. Over here we're going to have a big warp slab table which I think should be uh, super useful so we can just use this to uh, display another thing that we're working on like that. Alright and I love when the music comes on such a nice uh, music in this game. Okay, I think that's actually our personal clock so we won't put that one up and uh, yeah if we actually just grab one of these um, brewing stands here real quick and we can just replace what's there with a little uh, little device here like this and like that there we go that'll be what replaces it you can see it looks like some kind of generator of sorts and then we can basically just uh yeah we can actually also add a couple things here too uh which is basically if we have the if we do we have some redstone if we just grab a little bit of redstone like that i'm just gonna have to quickly uh put some items away since we have a huge amount of items we're working with right now since obviously a laboratory is a super complicated thing so it needs a lot of items is we can just use these redstone lamps here and we can use those down here and those can actually be used to um, to heat the uh, the liquid if necessary like that and we can also go like actually yeah, I think that looks good and we can probably just put two of them like that maybe we can put uh, a third one here like um, just like that and we can put a fourth one here just like that and that'll basically just be what will heat the liquid uh, if we want to heat whatever's in the vat so we'll go like that and just of course the way we'll wire that up is all right well I've got the redstone figured out for this so basically when I flip this lever it'll make those light up and uh, yeah anyway what we're gonna basically do now is I think 
we're going to get a few more displays up and some interesting projects we're working on. So for instance, I think over here, it looks like I need to eat really badly, I'll do that first, but over here I'm going to have a cool little clock display that'll be showing an interesting experiment we're doing with that. We're also going to show this brewing stand here. We can put some more redstone in here just to show that. In fact, if we actually just grab a bit of redstone, it can look like uh, something we've spilled. So we can just put that around like this, and that should work fine like that. In fact, we just put like bits like that. It'll look like we've kind of have something going on here. And then we can kind of go like that, and that can kind of power that just to, uh, to look pretty cool, I think. And we can maybe put a redstone block around here since we're kind of working with uh, electricity, things like that. So we can go like that and possibly just have another thing like this and uh, if we have some iron bars going on top of here that could work really well and we can even have a pressure plate like this and that can power that when something is on there so I think that's really cool we can also get a uh, compass on an item frame and just uh, put that there I believe that should be really cool to do if we just put a compass right there yeah then we can deal with that perfect all right, and I think this is looking almost done. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of this, see if there's anything else here forgotten. Oh yeah, there is something. Um, if I just grab a, one more bucket of uh, water, one other really cool display we can work on is uh, real quick with two dispensers here is basically we're gonna have two dispensers uh, somewhere up here, maybe around, uh, let's see here, maybe if we want it to go around here, then we can have the dispensers be just about like this and like this. We actually want them just to go downwards uh, and not too high up either. So we'll just make them go uh, just around like this and make them just go about here. All right, now we'll just put water in here and we'll get some lava and put it in the other one too since we do have a bucket of lava on us. And basically this will be where we can do experiments regarding water and lava. And so basically we're just gonna have a tube that the water and lava can flow down and they'll just kind of uh, in fact, if we just move them a little bit real quick, we can actually have it so they meet in the middle, so it basically makes more sense that way. The thing I just inter interestingly noticing is when I break this, you can see it's actually kind of see-through when it's behind the glass, but it's not, it's not see-through, so that's a bit of a visual glitch there, but uh, anyway, we can basically just place this, um, move this around just a little bit. Um, I actually broke the wrong one, but that's fine, so like this, water and lava, or water and one lava and the other, and then they'll basically just uh, meet uh, in the middle just like that and we'll make basically make this just go down and then uh, yeah they'll just they can actually just meet on top of here if we just put some glass here to protect the in fact these boards are actually fireproof so that's perfect these boards have been specially treated so that they're fireproof um, also known as boards that we got from netherwood because what's cool is netherwood can't actually burn since it's not technically wood and then we can do experiments with that uh, by basically just grabbing ourselves uh, some basalt since I think that's just a really cool looking block and if we just put the basalt up here like this and we just have to shift so we can place it there correctly and we place the other basalt here then we can basically use that to do experiments regarding water and lava which I think would be awesome like that we can just place some more around here just for decoration around like that and we can finish it off by putting some levers on both of them like this and like this so you can turn on one turn off one and we can basically do experiments down there with that I think that's looking awesome. Uh, if there's anything more, let's see if we have anything more. Um, we could use this nether quartz actually for a small little device. Um, I'm thinking what we could do is around here on the table as well. We could just show off an interesting little creation where we have this connected to an item frame. That's the wrong place for the item frame. Item frame will go on the uh, thing like that. All right, perfect. And then we'll basically just show off some quartz we're working on and some experiments regarding that. So we can basically just go like this. And actually, we'll put it right behind there like that, and I think that'll work well. So there we go. There's that. And I think we can also use one more of these kind of power generator looking things around here too. So we'll just make one little uh, table over here with a little bit more of this diorite. And we can just use that for a really cool table showing off an invention like that. So we can possibly just put that uh, maybe, let's see, maybe around just here. We could just put like a small table. And this is kind of crowded, but I've labs do seem to often be quite uh, full of different inventions and things that are going on so I think that'll make sense still and we can just kind of go around like this break that there no that's actually wrong so we'll just go like this around get them all to face the right direction since obviously we want our tables to look correct so we have a cool looking lab so there we go there's that and then we can just uh, oh I just broke the wrong one that's fine though place that there uh, break that and we can just make ourselves a generator on top of here just kind of sitting like that and I think that just is what it looks like, kind of like a generator like there. We can have that going, and we can have a uh, small little experiment going there, maybe with some end rods. 
and with some flint because I flint I think flint actually looks like an interesting material too so there's that anyway I think that's uh, all the items we have here yeah, anyway, you can kind of see the uh, the cool lab we have now. And so then the next episode, we're going to do some experiments on Substance X. See what we can do with that in this awesome new lab. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. Also, let make sure to watch more videos of mine if you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Please subscribe also.